Hello everyone, iOS 26 beta, public beta 2 ended up coming out and I wanted to kind of showcase to everybody what the main differences are between this update. Now the very big thing to keep in mind here is that this update was a very big size update coming from beta 2, beta 1, so it was about 10.11 gigabytes, which is a pretty big size update. So I'm not really too sure, you know, what is going on within this update. But the trend line is pretty crazy because it looks like a lot of updates are only going to get bigger and bigger as of this point. So kind of keep that in mind. That's kind of the number one thing to keep in mind here. Now within this update, it's basically just implementing everything from beta 5, uh, the developer beta 5, into beta 2. So a lot of the, now I got a chance to kind of mess around with it a little bit and kind of move things around. And, you know, it is actually a much smoother version of software than beta 1. Things are just becoming a lot faster and a lot cleaner kind of moving around. And I was trying to get it to kind of glitch up a little bit. And I wasn't able to kind of get it to, you know, there's little tiny glitches here and there. And keep in mind, this is a iPhone 16 Pro. So this is like one of the best types of iPhones you can get your hands on. So the fact that it's on public beta 2 and it's this smooth and this fast is actually pretty insane to me. Now, that's the one side. The other side is that this is still not anywhere near what it should be. There are still going to be a lot of improvements that Apple kind of has to put in here, but keep in mind, it'll definitely get better throughout time, and that is kind of one of the big things to keep in mind there from that standpoint as well. Now, when it comes down to the features this update brought, it brought a few things. There are some new UI changes. The liquid glass is basically unchanged from previous version of software, but it does bring a cool thing inside of the camera app. So if you go inside of the apps, you go inside of the camera portion, which I think is actually up here, you go inside of the camera portion and now adds a new toggle for classic mode switching. If you enable this, this basically means that it will go through and it will allow you to classically, you know, switch the camera in here, which way it should be. I don't know why Apple ended up removing this in the first place, but I do think this is something that's kind of cool that they ended up throwing in here. So the new camera UI also looks very, very nice, but it definitely will get better throughout time. What I will tell you though, no matter what, I would highly recommend to avoid installing iOS 26. Even though it has kind of gotten better and smoother, this is an iPhone 16 Pro we're talking about. This is like the best iPhone right now. If you own something like an iPhone 11 or an iPhone 12, it's definitely not going to be as fast. It's definitely not going to be as smooth. And that is going to be one of the issues you're going to run into. So avoid it at all costs. But so far, it is kind of getting a little bit better on this version of software, which is, well, you know, as it should be. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.